Greetings, 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 and a welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. You would think that I made a mistake and I'm saying this again. No, guess what? Today is Groundhog's Day. And for those of you who don't know, it's like repeating the same thing over and over. Do you remember the movie Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray? Oh my God, I probably have watched that movie at least um, at least like a dozen times. And an uh, amazing part of it is like, no matter how many times I watch it, <laughs> it's still uh, it's still wonderful. So for those of you who are just joining, welcome. And it's so good to be here with you. I am in Southern California. And uh, actually the weather is absolutely amazing. We have the sun out. Last week it was, not even last week, few days ago it was dreary and now it's sunny. My cousin called me early this morning and woke me up at quarter to seven just to let me know she's in Virginia. Uh, that she was driving down the street and uh, the streets were all snowing. There were snowflakes coming. And she says, I just thought of you and I wanted you to be part of the snow and the beauty and everything. And it's like, just wanted to say good morning. And what a way to wake up, right? That you are thought of, that someone is thinking about you. As a matter of fact, I think there are so many times in our life that we think life is a blah and you may be depressed and thinking nobody is there thinking about me, loving me. And yet there may be someone sitting next to you, laying next to you that you maybe had an argument or something, but it doesn't mean that they don't love you or support you. Maybe someone very strange that you met via internet, via Facebook in the last year since of COVID, we've been online and has been admiring you and thinking about you, or maybe is there to support you and you haven't connected with. So I truly believe there's parts of our life that we think we are all by ourselves. And yet we are not. So hello, Adrian. My Linda, how are you, dear? I just saw you on Forbes Riley's uh, inner circle that you were on there with Forbes. Oh, and I admire Forbes. And I think so many of us have met on that platform and made a change in life that today, even you, my Linda, have made incredible changes in your life and where you were, where you are and how you are showing up in life from the times that you constantly said, nay, 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 and now you are yay, yay, yay. And that is beautiful to see how you are flourishing. And I think there are so many of us, truly, that it's like life is like a groundhog's day that when we are in the negativity, we constantly think every single day is blah, every single day is negative. So what if, what if you were to do something different? If you could just measure your life and think this way, if what you are doing every single day from the moment you wake up to the time that you go to sleep and measure that how much, how many hours, what percentage of your life, your time during the day is spent on the things that make you feel good, right? On the scale of one to 10, if you were to say, okay, I did paperwork or I was on the Zoom, I didn't get anything out of this and, or I was doing chores and I hate doing chores or I didn't feel good. I've been in bed. No matter what it is, 
just measure it and write it down. And if you can just log that for a day, one week, and one month, so that you get to see a beautiful, uh, like a measure of how you spend your days or your week, and the things that enhance your life or bring you value, even if it is by listening to them, you feel good, or when you serve, or when you work and you, um, you get something accomplished. If you are spending only 15 minutes of your time and that 15 minutes was um, beneficial to you, what if you turn that into one hour and make that beneficial time not only beneficial for someone else and you're serving someone else and that it makes you feel good? So by doing that, it's like we bring more of the playfulness, the good feeling, not only within yourself, but to others. That makes you feel better and you get to do that more often. That in itself is 10 times more value. So going from blah, you repeat that Groundhog's Day on a more positive, loving, beneficial, good feeling. And you can't go wrong with that. Believe me. Um, for those of you who do not know me, by trade, I'm a clinical cer uh, certified hypnotherapist. So as someone who's been doing this for 20 years, and that I have gone through transformation of my own from fears, anxieties, fears of um, emotional, physical, mental, and healed myself through hypnosis from ovarian cyst, a 9.2 centimeter ovarian cyst, where I've already had two surgeries prior to that. The first one was 9.2 centimeters. The second one was 8.7 centimeters. And I already had... Uh, surgeries. And at that time, they used to cut it just like a C-section. And believe it or not, the pain, the C-section, everything was the same, except instead of having a baby, I, they just removed an over, one of the ovarian cysts. And it was this big, the first one. And yes, the pain, physical pain was excruciating. And at that time, I was married. So intimacy was very difficult. The third time when I was told that I was going to go under the knife is when I was working at a law firm. And for nine years, I was in the law firms as a paralegal, as an assistant to attorney. And when they sent me to an acupuncturist, and on the second session, he gave me a piece of paper saying, did you know that hypnotherapy can help with ovarian cysts? I'm like, what does up there have to do with down here? Lo and behold, after five or six sessions of hypnotherapy and using the powers of hypnosis and tapping within the subconscious mind for me to realize why my body was creating the ovarian cysts and healing through that so I never had to go under that knife for the third time. And since then, I've healed so many other things, not only stopped smoking, but came out of dysfunctional relationships and fears, internal fears, and worked through my own panic and anxiety to a point that I can hypnotize myself and uh, overcome pain. You know, next week, February 9th, I was going to have uh, invited my uh, oral surgeon for dentistry because it is national dental um, national children's dental uh, month and national celebration of dentistry and children's dentistry. I was going to talk about how we overcome fears and anxieties of dentistry, especially for children. But that too is something that if I can hypnotize myself and have uh, my 
um, root canal done and do oral surgeries that you too can manage your pain and overcome your own pain and understand that panic and anxiety is from internal feeling the blah is internal no one can make us feel anything so for that i can just say for example there is this left hand and our right hand both hands are mine you can do the same thing you can just go like this right so do it with me wherever you are standing sitting no matter where you are just go like this and know that both hands are yours and if you could put your blah moments your negative moments all the things that give you panic anxiety blame shame guilt everything in the palm of your hand and then look at this hand just like this is all the things that someone can trigger you and this hand is your reaction to the people who push the buttons. Can this hand function on its own without this hand moving? Believe it or not, yes. That means I can help you overcome some emotional connections to what is triggering you that when the triggers happen that when uh someone says something or you smell something or you, there is an action that your reaction is very much calmer and your choice because just because this happens this hand does not automatically move together as you see as long as i have the cognitive means to move my muscles i can have full control of what is happening between two hands so that means in a way that what happens does not have to have an immediate reaction unless it's a fight flight and you are there automatically your subconscious mind kicks in to defend and protect you and believe it or not most times things that happen to us and trigger us or when someone says and we lash out is because we have not learned why it's triggering and why this hand is automatically responding so in order for you to say congratulations yes you do need two hands for a happy thing so why not use this metaphor of groundhog's day to have something good and for you to enhance your feelings on the things that are happening more often on the good feelings instead of the negative ones so that your reactions become more controlled precise and know that you can utilize it by choice let me see what hello dear lisa another day to learn from you hi leon Najran. how are you it's so good to have you here thank you for your words time and love you are welcome hello beverly this is great lisa i had uh, fear of dentistry as a child now as an adult i actually can set a dentist chair without fear and have full control uh, exactly exactly you know uh, Beverly, it's so good for to be here because you have your own show and I've been, um, it's been an honor to be on your show last year and we can do so much, so much of understanding that we have total control on our mindset and we can do so much of mindset reset with a heart set and that is what I teach. I help you go from pain 
to gain. And yesterday I had a client sitting at my chair and, and when she walked in, this is the same client that last year, she last, I'm saying last year, last week, she came in with a lot of anxiety. She walks in yesterday, it was her session and she says, I feel better today than I did last week. Wow. You know why? Because one of the affirmations is every day in every way, I feel better than yesterday. Today, I feel better than yesterday. And every day in every way, I have full control to make a change within myself. If you could use that affirmation with a movement while you're walking, while you're sitting, while you're moving, it becomes an incantation. Now, the difference between an incantation and an affirmation is we can sit and do um, right? With vibration that it vibrates into your body. Awesome. You can say the affirmation over and over. That's great. But when you do it with a movement, with a gesture, as you walk, as you run, as you exercise, as you dance, even if it is in your mind, believe it or not, it works for you. And the movement of your body with the affirmation, it becomes embedded in every cell of your being. So if it is overcoming fear, a part of what I do and I help you is for you to evoke what was. You have to understand what is triggering you. All the triggers, all the things that have connected that you react to. Realize, understand, acknowledge it. And then embrace it. Embrace, yes, this is what it was. This is why it happened. Not necessarily that it matters, but it matters because you want to overcome it. It's not that through hypnosis or hypnotherapy, we go to hash it, rehash it, and hash it, and rehash it. No. It's to disconnect the emotion connected to why the trigger. Yesterday, I asked a question. It's on my newsfeed and it asks, what is one part of your life, if you were to go back, that you would like to capture it on film? And there's so many different responses and responses from the time that I ran my marathon to a time that my child was born, even my birth. Yes, today, nowadays, everything is being videoed from a baby's birth and everything. Well, if we could capture all that on film, it's beautiful so we can look. And one of my friends online said, yes, but memory fades. Memory fades, true. Cognizant cognitive and conscious memory fades. But when will you tap into your subconscious mind? All those feelings, the image, the sensories have been embedded within you. So what we do through hypnosis is you just go and you remember the scene. And if there is any emotions connected to it, that's why we, the work that I do is to shift negative habits for a healthier one and a better one is to disconnect the emotions connected to that negative, negative emotions connected to that scene, to that behavior, to that habit. Now, once that's done, then you can go from feeling powerless, anxious, to feeling better, 
and the blah becoming more calm. Oh, hello, Vartui John. How are you? You are awesome. Thank you so much. I hope this resonates with you. If it does, by all means, say yes. And uh, please share your comment and uh, if there is anything that i can help you with if there's any questions you want me to answer by all means this is why i am here uh someone asked me uh why is it that you go live every week and i've been doing this for over four years do you know how many episodes that is uh, a few months ago i celebrated over 200 episodes yes i have been do going live over 200 uh tuesdays and i have not missed one time even when i was on vacation i went i came live and i did my heel talk tuesdays and it's not that i am getting paid there is no sponsorship i feel that i am here to serve and if i can make a difference for one person then i have served and you know it takes my blah day and my it's right in the middle of the day for me it's lunchtime and it's a giving back i give back what i receive because truly i receive so much from you all not only by saying thank you very much and everything but if i can help not only you, but someone that you know that is suffering from self-esteem. Because you see, everyone who's got the confidence to come and show up and do something and go back and say, ah, I did that wrong. I did this. In the beginning, I used to be the same. Now it's, I show up. This is me. You see me in the streets? This is me in the middle of the street. If I hear music, I'll get up and dance that at that time, when I take my dog for a walk every single morning, I either take pictures of the sky, the trees, nature, my dog. Sometimes I go live and I say something on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. Uh, and, you know, tomorrow's my birthday. It's an amazing time to celebrate. So many say, I don't want to celebrate. I don't want to remember my birth date. But I, the first thing I do is I say thank you to God. That means I opened my eyes again. Every single day is a birth date because we are here. We are alive. We can connect we have the opportunity to make something right if we have done wrong saying sorry in a way is saying sorry if i have done wrong but to apologize means i apologize for hurting you or making you feel bad so i've talked about that before but every single morning when i go and take my dog for a walk you know first i direct my dog where he where i want him to go and as we are walking i allow him to read his newspaper you know every single corner every tree every branch every part that he stops it's like reading what other dogs have been there who's the dog what type of a dog it is it's a big dog a small dog or is it a friend dog or not and that's what we do every single way when we are on facebook live or when we pick up the phone and when we are by ourselves do that be the groundhog's day and measure how was my day what am i going to do today and every single day I do the same thing. Thank you, God, for I am here. And every part of me is functioning. I stretch, I do everything. I give thanks to all 
who are a part of my life, either you are here or the ones that I can touch and feel, my mom. And every birthday, the first person I thank is my mother because she gave birth to me. And as long as she is alive in this world, I say thank you to her. I was the first C-section in Tehran, Iran. And as a matter of fact, the day that I was born, um, being um, in Iran, um, the husband has to give permission if they are to do anything. So it's not that for birthing, but because I was the first C-section and uh, it, it was something they had to cut my mom and uh, to do the C-section. Why are we talking about C-sections today? But it's, I don't know. <laughs> um, so the doctor, thanks to, I learned about the doctor only a few days ago, I asked my mom, what was the doctor's name? It was Dr. Manti. And he was an OBGYN that had just come and studied how to do C-sections and everything from America uh, only months before. And uh, they had to go and ask my dad permission because uh, to do the C-section, it was not a regular natural birthing that in case anything went wrong and they asked him, do you want us to save your wife or your child? And he said, my wife. Well, we were both saved, but my mother did not see me for three days because she she went into a like a comatose for the first few hours and everything, and I was breached. So we were both saved. So when birthday comes, I thank her first. And in my mind, since my dad is not here, I thank him for they were the ones who brought me to this world. Good, bad, right, wrong, doesn't matter. What we make out of life today, and this is part of the incantation, that as I am walking, I do my mantras, I do my thankfulness, gratefulness, and I appreciate my surroundings. That in itself, is saying to yourself, because when you do it, you hear it, you feel it, you see it. Life is about what you give yourself first. And then how from the plethora you have inside that you change from the blah to the beauty, from the negativity to the healthy, from the nay to the yay for you. That in itself is creating the best of your world. And that is how we go from pain, which is the feeling of powerless, feeling anxious, feeling insecure and negative to the gain, which is the growth, the acknowledgement, the awareness, the having this beautiful inner beauty to knowing and nurturing and loving yourself. And that's how you heal within. So if you would like to work with me in any level, by all means, not only I do action coaching, not necessarily life, because every action we take, it affects our life. So I help you through hypnosis, which is in modality, and not always do you have to be hypnotized, but learn and acknowledge about yourself. And through my methods and me, uh, means, I can help you foster. Now, if that is interesting you, by all means, you can DM me, message me here on Facebook. You can uh, make an appointment, uh, healwithin.com appointments, or you can follow me on Instagram. I am also on Instagram and just joined Clubhouse a week ago, which is another um, platform. So no matter where you are in life, 
I will meet you to where you are and help you evolve to what you want, what you desire. That is the promise that I make. And my Linda says, make sense for your story. Also, thanks for your kind words earlier, was unable to type. You're welcome, love. You're welcome, my Linda. Um, I know you have gone through so much as so many of us. Just goes to show if your number isn't up, you survive and you, my friend, have a mission and are living it. Mm, Beverly, thank you. Thank you. The mission is far greater and we are, oh my God, we are on a roll to do something bigger, greater, and bring more value. And for those of you who are following me, you do know that I, ladies, <laughs> I have another show with uh, Chris Gota and the original show with Chris and Lisa. We are on Thursdays at five o'clock. Please you can check us here on Facebook. Follow us. It's uh, heel. Uh, it's not heel talk, but it is talk. It's candid talk for women by women. And you know, we talk about a lot of things that uh, it's about us. Um, so, does age a key element for doing changes? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Age has nothing to do with it. Uh, I think anyone, it doesn't matter. I've got a client that has booked and is coming in uh, 68 years old, wanting to make a change and just told me, he says, I've had so many issues from the past that I want to come and it's time for me to do some work, deep work. And he's coming in. Uh, by the way, I am fluent in Armenian and Farsi, and I do a lot of my therapies in both tri languages. So for those of you who think that language is a barrier, not with me. Um, so if it is to speak Farsi, I speak it Farsi. I've done uh, the sessions in Farsi. And uh, so no, age is not a barrier. By the way, did you know that when you tap into your subconscious mind, Ah, the reservoir, the, 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 the magic is that the subconscious mind is so like a clockwork, better than Rolex. And once you are in that moment, it itself translates. So we begin in Armenian or in Farsi or in English and everything. But the therapy that happens in subconscious level, it's like it translates on its own because the healing is your healing, your language, your ways. I'm just the bridge. I'm just the connector. I'm just the person who helps you go from here to there. And I have worked with children from six years up. So if it is um, age, six, all the way to, I've uh, worked with someone who was 84 years old, by all means. Um, I hope that answers your question. Thank you, Liana, for your question. Um, any other questions? Okay, <laughs> you can always, uh, if you are watching this live, by all means, you can ask me anything right here, right now. And if you are watching it on replay, hashtag replay, you can ask anything. And I always respond to most of my comments. If not all the comments, I will get to you by the end of the day. And you can always text me at 818-221-2797. You know what? As, as, ah, let's do this. For my birthday, I want to gift you. If you text RELAX to 818-221-2797, I'll be more than happy to have my assistant send you an audio recording of my 
relax and unwind. And you can listen to that and go into a state of relaxation on your own in the comfort of your home. How can we maximize our hope? Hope. Hope for what? How do you maximize your hope is have a goal, a clear goal, and then every single day, step into your goal, visualize it, step into it, bring it on so that when you have a hope for the future of what you want, you have to be very clear of what you want. Because it, when someone comes here and they say, I'm, I've done all kinds of yo-yo, I've lost all the weight, gained all the weight, this and that. My question is, what is it that you want clearly? Well, I want to lose weight. Fine. First and foremost, we're not losing weight because losing and loss is a negative thing. We never go after something to bring into our world that does not feel good, right? So we want to get away from that pain. So why would I want you to lose something? So I educate my client about the mindset and how the shift happens. I educate you about how your language matters to you because what you think and what you say is what you hear and what you repeat. So by educating and you learning about how to speak and how to behave, that's where your mindset, mindset shift happens. And then you become clear. Yes, I want to drop or shed or peel away 20 pounds of fat. And I want to regain my stamina my health, my vitality, and feel better about myself and fit into a size eight dress that has been hanging in my closet. Now we have a clear set of where we were, where we are, and where we are going. That's how you create when you say hope. Hope is so broad. Hope for what? And that's what I want you to do. Remember, we started by having a measure of if you want to create hope, what other hopes have become reality? When your reality, if it becomes a reality, how will it change your life? Because when this person drops and sheds and eliminates 20 pounds, how are they going to look like, feel like? And how is that going to help them move forward in life? If there's any other obstacles, what are the obstacles? So there is a whole work that, uh, that takes place, not only consciously, but subconsciously, because there is so many times that we hold on to weight because it protects you, safeguards you, and keeps you safe in that modality in order to something else not happen. And that's why the therapy is much deeper than just saying this. If it hasn't worked for you before, we peel away the layers of the onion, or what I say is we go into evoking it. So we have a full understanding for you to have an understanding wise, in order to say yes to you, and move forward in life. So I thank you for being here. You are welcome, my dear. Hope for a job. You know what? What kind of a job? Be clear who you want to work with. Why do you want to work for that company? And by working with that company, how will it benefit your life? And what kind of a career that that company be clear on the companies that you want to work with, right? And when you do, be clear of how are you going to enhance that company and the people who work there. 
be part of it, step into it. It's not just a job. If it's a job, go work at McDonald's, but you will not because you have a set of skills and you have to be very clear. So not only it's the things that I do is, as I said, action coaching. It's becoming so clear where you are, where you want to go, and how you want to feel about where you want to go. I hope that helps you. So let's make it a beautiful day. And I thank you for being a part of this. As always, if you want to uh, get my recording for Relax and Unwind, just text RELAX to 818-221-2797. And that will be my gift to you. And until next week, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.